One thing we do know about this year, though, is that the playoff format is going to once again feature a series with three games, which absolutely everybody hated, Jeff. Why has MLS brought this back? <laughs> Money. They want every single participant, they want every single team that's in the playoffs to have at least one home game. Mm. Now, I, I think for the, for the play-in game, that, that's you know, obviously not the case, but you, know, you, you get the, the eight teams that, that remain after, after the play-in round, and you're gonna, it, every single team is going to get at least one home game. And that's going to bring in additional revenue. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure it, it provides additional inventory for the Apple TV deal. So, again, I, I think money is, is what's driving a lot of this. And, um, you know, the, the worst case scenario, at least in my opinion, was barely avoided last year when I think, you know, Houston was able to, to, to subdue Real Salt Lake. And Real Salt Lake didn't win any games. They, they would have hmm. won two games via a penalty shootout. And, and Houston would have won one in regulation. And I, I just think that would have been – the optics would have been awful uh, for that particular situation in the playoffs. But uh, thankfully, it was avoided. We'll see if the same thing turns around this time. But again, money is driving all of it. Casey, best of three worth keeping around? <laughs> no. No, not at all. I mean, when you think of every, every competition around the world, it's either – the first team out the bag gets the home gets the home draw, or it's a home and away. And if it's a home and away, two-legged series, to Jeff's point, every team gets a home game and a home and away, and then and then you're able to kind of prove yourself. Look, if you want to do something different and maybe take away away goals or something like that, I get it. But the idea of this, you know best of three series next it'll be you know well they they do a best of seven in the nba so let's do that um <laughs> so i don't know i i've i've, I've always been uh, a fan i've always been kind of more of a traditionalist and so you know i i don't like the idea of hey we're america let's do something different than everybody else just because we're american